Hey, what'd you say? The people about what, though? Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Neil again from the Heaven Tribe. Uh, just wanted to touch bases with y'all. Like I said, I'm going to try to get on here every Saturday. Just got back in the house from walking. There we go. Just got back in the house from walking with my son. And um, every day we go walking and we work out. This is little, this my little gym area in here. We got some equipment. You know what I mean? We trying to stay fit. If you, if, if, if you are over 30, you know what that is. Right there. <laughs> But um, yeah, just wanted to get on here. Like I said, every Saturday, I'm gonna try to touch bases with y'all and just, you know, get on here and then just speak to you all about what I'm feeling at today. And, you know, it's special today because my wife, she has a program that she's um, involved in for women that she'll be coming on at 10 o'clock and um, just sharing her testimony and a couple other women are gonna be doing some giveaways um, she's partnering with Michelle Perrin. If you, if you know who she is, just go to their page around 10 o'clock. They're going to be doing something very special for the women. So I'm encouraging y'all. If y'all want to hear a word, if y'all want to be blessed this morning, definitely go to Michelle Perrin's page or my wife's page. I'm pretty sure they're going to have it posted and I'll try to link it in this video when I'm done. But like I said, I just want to be obedient to God and share with you all, you know, the, uh, things that he put on my heart a couple last week to, you know, don't talk about it, but be about it. So, uh, also like, tell me what y'all doing today. Like today I'm going to be probably cutting the grass outside on a Saturday, nice day outside, um, cut the grass. I'll probably link up with some friends and watch that, uh, fight tonight. Javante Davis fight tonight. S shout out to, uh, Milwaukee Bucks for how they just killed uh, Atlanta yesterday. That was crazy. Um, but, yeah, that's probably pretty much what I got going on today. But I want to share a scripture with y'all. Today is the, what's today, June 24th, 26th? All right, so in my daily devotion that I read every day, guys, it gives me a prayer and it gives me a scripture, and that's just a basis that I that I uh, go off of each morning. That um, very simple, very quick, and, and easy easy to understand. But you got to get something that you can uh, get in a routine of doing, uh, as far as reading your word, and and it goes beyond this. But this is a good starter if you you know just um, becoming a Christian or you just maybe. Uh, um, starting to follow Christ or trying to build a better relationship with Christ, it's important to get some kind of routine in the morning to pray and read his word so he can guide you and lead you. So today, June 26, it says, Oh, Master, take away the fearful feelings within me as I look ahead at the challenges of the day. Give me courage to take chances, knowing that you make the crooked places straight. Amen. And then the scripture, it says, is Isaiah 42 and 16 and I believe this is from the New King James Version. It says, I will lead them in paths they have not known. I will make darkness light before them and crooked places straight. These things I will do for them and not forsake them. So, yeah, that's a powerful scripture. I mean, how many people feel like sometimes you're going, you going to new places or new challenges in your life and you don't know which way to go? I felt like that when I had my first kid. Uh, I didn't know what to do. I was probably the most nervous person in the world when that happened. You know what I'm saying? But good thing that, you know, people prayed for me. I had the help I needed and the, and the friends around me, too. Like, we 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 really don't uh, understand. But the people that we keep, the company around us that we keep is critical in our development. I mean, look at the look at the closest people around you. You know, and, and your friends that you call your friends and your relatives and understand, like, these are the people that's going to help shape you and who you are. So you want more positive people around you than anything. I mean, if I look at my close friends back then, you know, before where I am today, it probably wasn't the best uh, group of people that, you know, was uh, encouraging me in a positive way to follow Christ or to do things that God wants me to do. But now I look at it and it's important. And I, and I realized that, you know, the people that we keep around us really do affect our, our mentality. They, they, they affect us and encourage us either in a positive way or negative way or to be stagnant. And the people that I got around me now is, is, is a great group of people. One of my friends, Lenard, shout out to you. 
you know, he hit me up. He texted me the other day like, man, we need to start a, a, a Zoom call every week for just the guys to get on here and just and just share things that we're going through. That's that's something that he wanted wanted us as as guys to do just to just to get on a Zoom one day a week. And I told him, set it up. I'm on it. You know what I mean? These are this is the kind of people that you should want around you that's going to help build you up and help encourage you to keep doing positive things in your life. Another one of my friends, Mike G. I I know him since I used to work in a a warehouse, and uh, he he has recently been saved, um, and he has recently uh, got a new job, and things was tough for him. But I'm just encouraging him to stay prayed up. You know, he's a family man, very very uh, intelligent, very uh, business focused, and you know he get to the money. You know, but. Most importantly, he accepted Christ into his life, and now he's seeking God more. He wants to pray more. He asks questions about God. And it's important because if you have questions about God but don't know how to seek him or try to find him or get different answers, you got to have these people around you that's going to help you, you know, and that's going to guide you and that's going to lead you to try to find, you know, a closer relationship with him. And I feel like that's one of the things that God has placed in my heart as of recently to help people that's around me to make sure that they always put God first because I know in my life right now, it wouldn't be in a, in a positive uh, way that it is, you know, being so blessed and how, and how I've just, you know, moved to a different place in my life and got to where I am if it wasn't for God. So I got to share that with the people around me, my closest friends. You know, my brother Rick, you know, he's a great guy. He's a great family man. And we all go through things, but he's learning and he's developing and he decided to do counseling, you know, and that's to better him and his family. You know what I mean? And that's very, that's a very honorable thing that for a man to really realize and to do, you know what I mean? So these, these are the kind of people, you know, that I hang around that, you know, help me and that helps pushes me and propels me forward. And we all encourage each other. We all do, you know, things to just help build each other up. But you got to have friends in your life and, and people around you, surrounding you to just be be better and to be the best person you can be. So I want you all to take that today and just, uh, just you know, assess assess who you're hanging around. Assess the people. Are they, are they benefiting you? If not, how can you benefit them to press, push them and be better? But I'm going to pray right now. Father God, in Jesus' name, we thank you for this day, God. We thank you for waking us up this morning, starting us on our way. We thank you for life, health, and strength. We thank you for keeping us as we slept last night, camping your angels around our homes, God, giving us peace, God, giving us uh, just blessings on blessings, God, each and every day to wake up and to be in this land, God. We thank you for being in this time period right now, God, that we're free. Freedom in our minds, God. Freedom in our hearts, God. Having the ability to do the things that we want to do, God. We thank you for this time in our life, God. We thank you for everybody on this call right now. Whatever they're dealing with, God, we just ask that you just make a way and restore them, God. If it's healing that they need, if it's deliverance from something that they need, God. If it's uh, any kind of... Um, wickedness or any kind of evil thing coming up against them, God, we just ask that you take it away. In any hindering spirit, mental hindering spirit, God, we ask that you just remove it from them right now, God, that they might see clear, they might have good vision, God, that may, they might be able to just look around and see who's around them, God, be able to determine their friends, God, their real friends from their fake friends, Lord. Help people to realize that we have a friend in you, God, that we don't have people around us, but we do have a friend in Jesus Christ. He is our friend. He is our provider. He is our Jehovah Jireh, God. He does all things for us, God. We can lean on him whenever we feel down, whenever we feel low, God. We always know that you are with us, God, and we thank you for being with us right now, God, in this day and age, God. We just uh, thank you for the uh, friendships that we have, God, with the friends that we and the people that are around us, God, that build us up and encourage us today, God, that we might continually to just get stronger with each other, God. Don't let us hold each other down or hold each other back or look at each other as competition, Lord, but look at each other as being a helper, God, being a helper to uh, our friend, our buddy, or whoever we call them, whoever um, our road dog, whatever term that we use, God, we just ask that you just build each other up, God, strengthen us. We are, we are stronger in numbers, God, and that you just keep people around us that will encourage us, 
to have us to stay focused on the right things, God, and that we can always draw back to somebody that's going to encourage us and lift us up, God, as we go through different times. We all go through different things in our life, God, but you sending people our way that we need to hear from you, God, through their messages, through their phone call, through their uh, text message, through their voicemail, God, whatever, however they get it to us, God, we know it's from you, and we thank you for those close and great friendships. We just ask right now that we just make those friendships stronger. People that we haven't talked to in a while, God, we ask that we rekindle these friendships, God, that have been um, great friendships, God, that we may have lost track of or may have lost sight in, God, but help us to build those friendships and relationships back up strong so that we can help each other out. We don't know where, we may not know where one person is down or where one person is going through unless we talk to them and unless we um, converse with them and, and, just, and just be around them, God. So have us to uh, have that camaraderie and that friendship that we need to continually build each other up right now in Jesus' name. So we praying for strong friendships today on, on this Saturday, God. I hope that touches somebody. I hope somebody felt that and somebody is blessed by that word. Remember I told you, check out my wife's. Uh, she's going to be on the call at 10 o'clock shortly after this. So uh, it's going to be on her uh, Instagram, probably her Facebook as well. But make sure you go to her on Michelle Perrin's site. She's going to be blessing you all today with um, just some words of encouragement as well as a couple other people couple other women so if you're interested in that please check that out that's a it's going to you're going to get some free gifts i heard there's going to be some free gifts given and that uh you know you will be blessed by some of the testimonies that that uh that she's that they're going to be explaining so um definitely check that out today and then go throughout today and just be blessed we we uh want to also let you all know that we're in we are in our commitment to marriage series on our youtube channel for the heaven tribe so definitely check that out as well it's it's very um, inspiring. It's something that me and my wife put together over the last few months that we felt because of the people that was coming to us with uh, different issues and marriage that they needed to hear and more people needed to know about. So just check that out and uh, just make just make sure, you know, uh, whoever you're listening to, make sure it's of, of somebody that, you know, is uh, in their word daily and somebody that is um, projecting positivity in this world and no negative things. So stay positive, stay blessed, and we'll see you next Saturday.